All right. Welcome back to the Gaming Gaze, guys. We are playing a game called Frog Fractions. We're fractioning up some frogs. So, I don't think this is a controller compatible. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm already losing. Fantastic. Retry. Let's, let's retry. Okay. How, how far is my... Um... I don't understand what's going on, but okay. Can I move? How am I supposed to, um... Okay. Wave one. Oh, hey. Oh, cool. I did it. Yay. I have no idea what this game is about uh, or anything. I just know that Sion66 uh, recommended it to me. Um, okay, so uh, let's look at these options. Apparently, I can upgrade. Cost two fruit. How many fruit do I have? Sure. So I think I'm getting the hang of it. Uh, uh, for... Okay, let's try this. Apparently this is a puzzle game. So... I'm not really sure how it's supposed to work though. But I'm getting better at it. So it's a click and point game. I was trying to use my new controller. Yes, I finally got the controller to start working by the way on this stuff. Um, which is super exciting. You guys don't understand. Well, we'll try this. Okay. Uh, apparently there's multiple puzzles, though, so I'm not entirely sure what the fudge is going on. <laughs> the score system, by the way, is wild. Um, gosh, I'm trying. This is like intro to higher game mechanics. <laughs> Why would I uninstall that? What? What the fudge is this? Ah! This is typing time! I hated typing time! I sucked at typing time! I literally had a semester. The semester we focused on typing time, I was in a cast. I could not type to save my life. <sighs> oh no! Oh no! I, I... Okay, cool. I like that better. Are there, like, variations to this game? I don't know. Gosh. But I gotta love this lightning tongue, which apparently decides not to work at the moment. My frog is a fat guy. I'm really glad I got that. It's a laser point here. Focus point is awesome. That saved me from the game before. Video games I haven't played on this channel because I don't really play fighting games. Ooh, what's this? Great job, friend. To dragon friend, he will love his new dragon shape. I swear. Shell's just holding him back. Aww. Let's go with the dragon, guys. Oh my god! 
gosh, it's so cute. Snow, snow. Oh, is that damaging me? What the fudge is going on? I don't like the dragon head. I want the turtle back. Is that just this level or is it because of the head I have? What the fudge? I want to know how you pass this level. Like, I want to know how you pass this in general. Gosh. Gosh. Oh, fudge. Oh. and Sue. I suck at spelling, shoo. Goodness gracious, this is not the kind of call out I wanted today. Onset. Ah. Uh, sonnet. Do you like sonnets? Sate. Plus. South. Typing experts out there, if I could type properly, this would go way faster. So I feel like it's going pretty fast. What the fudge is the objective of this game? Okay, uh, we're gonna hit no. Okay, sorry. I uh <laughs> realized I just abruptly went down. Uh I went and cheated a tad. Okay. Oh I uh was trying to figure out how the fudge I kicked this stuff. Like, you make it huh? We're dealing with a serious infestation here. <laughs> Careful around those androids. <laughs> I still don't know what those gifts were. I was more concerned with how the fun to move on. Apparently. What the fuck is going on? I don't know. <laughs> Charges against your secure. You're accused of breaking an entry into our native habitat, Bug Mars, the attempt polarizing your delicious space fruit. How do you plead? Uh, amphibious, Your Honor. Huh. Are you sure you don't want a lawyer? These charges are minimum sentence of 20 years and hard labor. But there's a special offer this week. How do you like to become a naturalized citizen of Baz Yard? Buzz? Bug Mars. <laughs> I love that, Bug Mars. Exit. All you need is a boo is pass a test on the history and culture of this fine planet. Shall we begin? Our bug flag has four bug stripes. What do they represent? Uh, let's go with this, this fun word. 
<laughs> Gross, but yes, that's right. Next question. On the series of Bug Jersey Shore, there's Bug Snooky's favorite flavor of ice cream. I don't know. I don't watch TV. Uh... Well, I had to try, didn't I? <laughs> Four score and 20 bucks ago. Bug and Chief, Bug Thomas Jefferson wrote in the Declaration of Bugs that we are blessed with which enable right. Thomas Jefferson. Huh. I'm gonna hold that one. Involuntary trip you know it's yes during the war of Bug 1812 General Stormwind Bug Jackson. How about the various bug of Anna and Samuel Hamley? <laughs> How many Beckett bugs did he crush on during the wheels of his Mercedes bugs? <laughs> <laughs> Small moment in our history, he regretted it for the rest of his life. Last question, Mr. Hop. How do you feel about fractions? Oh, I told there be no reference exam. Oh man, I love them. Uh, they're an issue to represent the non-integral value. I'm actually learning slightly towards scientific negation these days. I don't know, I never really dealt with them. <laughs> I think my chair is made of bugs. Am I made of bugs? I don't know. I know, right? Fractions, I'm impressed, Mr. Hop. Yours is the first perfect score in our nationalized <laughs> program has ever seen. We were going to fire you into the sun, but instead we decided to issue you a work visa. If you just sign here. Yeah! Everyone loves signature. Just ask Bug John Hancock. Uh. Okay, now I have a visa. Yes, I'm taking the signature pretty seriously. <laughs> Wait, why am I still eating bugs if I'm- oh fudge. If I- If- Why am I still eating bugs? You know what this reminds me of is, um, if you guys haven't already checked it out, I would highly recommend checking out, uh, Team Star Kid. They do a musical... Actually, what was it called? It's about bugs, and just the art style kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> How do I get more Zorm Kids? Let's just go down and see what happens. I feel like the protector guys who like made this game were just like, let's just- As conceived in 1632 by Portuguese printing press operator André Felipe, boxing was a gentleman's game in which two men would square off and regale each other with stories monotonous for days on end, until one of them fell to the ground from boredom or exhaustion. Over the next few years, the new sport developed a respectable following of a few hundred local socialites. This is fishy down here. I don't know where I'm going. Oh. Let's go this way. It seems less. It was Felipe's son, Andre Felipe Felipe, who developed what he called the punching strategy in 1637 <gasps> after on. seeing a schoolboy strike another in anger, causing him to fall down. When Andre Felipe Felipe challenged the then champion, British expatriate Sleepless Bill Bishop to a match. Bishop was the odds-on favorite. You can imagine his surprise when, while he was describing what he had had for breakfast that morning, Andre walked up and thumped him in the neck, sending him down for the count in the parlance of our time. I don't know what's going on. So if you want answers from me, I'm the wrong person to ask, because I have no idea. <laughs> And then it goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. I hope we don't drown down here. I need bring an oxygen tank. Do you need 
need an oxygen tank for a uh, game. My poor dragon. Looks like this is not what I signed up for, guys. His big ol' head can fit through there. That's that's a real fairy tale here. His big head. was universally agreed that the boy had violated the spirit of the game. Officials were unable to find any actual rule that punching violated, and were forced to let the victory stand. This upset caused an uproar in the boxing community large enough to spill over into local newspapers, oh, which drew the interest of many outsiders to come see what all the fuss was about. The newcomers the were enthralled to engage in these borderline barbaric displays of human strength and trapped. skill, and the rest is history. After a few Am sports, sports right school way? moms single-minded about safety added the padded gloves. There's no indication I have to go a specific way, so I'm hoping I'm going the right way. Today's boxing enthusiasts okay. fantasize about a newcomer that would rock the ring the way Felipe did. Calcification of the yeah, modern Felipe rule set has essentially locked the punching strategy into place, but it's easy to get caught up in the fantasy. Young scholars with big dreams often enter the ring with their crazy new trick usually a variant of hypnosis, and though they've achieved the occasional victory, none of the gimmicks have been robust enough to make it to the big time. Okay. That's a dead end. Can I eat those? My frog guy is like really into the whatever's going on at the moment. What's going on up here? fish dude person guy I lost the real wonder though is that I must Andre be Felipe's going the right way I keep triggering the still audio around. and I don't know if Gentlemen's it's like spatial clubs can be found in cities all like over the world so you can visit one most any day of the week and see two erudite gentlemen exchanging pleasantries in the ring most people only come to watch a few hours of a match, and then leave. But every once in a while you'll find amongst your elders a stout fellow, a die-hard fan, who perhaps witnessed that historic battle between Felipe and Bishop, who for love of the sport the must stay to I? witness the last glorious seconds of wakefulness slip away, only to return to fight again another day. Evidently I found what I was looking for, so... 